What's up guys? It is Friday, so we've got another update day, so we're just going to be talking about the updates today. Uh, before I get into those real quick, there was a giveaway on my last video, the Bankbusters uh, video. So if you haven't seen that and you haven't entered that giveaway, go watch that video, go into that giveaway. Uh, the results of the winners for that giveaway will be uh, decided next Friday. So next Friday in that update video, I will go over the winners. So you still have a chance to get in there. Uh, anyways, let's jump into the updates. And of always, I'll, I'll, I'll have the... Uh, the links in the description below if you just want to read this but i assume if you're watching this then you do want to see it so let's do it okay so we got some bug fixes just kind of go speed through these uh you can now loot clues when you had one before or uh, when you had one on the, when there's one on the ground and you have one uh this is just fucking retarded okay so the first thing we'll talk about is the bug fixes so uh, whenever you had a clue scroll in your inventory and you got one from a monster, you couldn't loot it. It said you already had one that has been fixed, so you can now have multiple clues. That is the intention. You're supposed to have multiple clues, so that is now correct with monsters. Gnomes and basilisks are no longer aggressive. They're not supposed to be, and they were. Iron men should now be able to de-iron. You just speak to Paul right here, and he will hook you up. Uh, they fixed an issue that caused blue dragons to not be attackable. The Winter Tot achievement for uh, blistering cold has been fixed. Should be working now. It, uh, it's also 50 now instead of 100. And then the last uh, quote unquote bug fix is the uh, implings are. Uh, you can no longer catch implings if you have a full inventory. Uh, if you haven't seen how I've been doing these updates, I divide them into three categories bug fixes, balance changes, and other changes, which is just kind of everything else. Uh, so let's get into the balance changes. We have mystery boxes, uh, mystery boxes, and elite mystery boxes have been uh, updated. A couple more items been added. That's sort of the intention is that almost every update they'll probably get a couple more additions. Um, as far as is it amazing now? Probably not. Is it better? Yeah, a little bit. Um, and then anything new that gets added to the donated store will always be added to mystery boxes and elite mystery boxes as well. Obviously, elite mystery boxes would have the better chance. So speaking of that, the one new item has been added, Pawn's Rapier. It is similar to the old school Rapier. I'll sort of talk about that a little bit now. Let's go uh, southwest. So we'll talk about the stats uh, as is. I did decrease it a little bit, uh, I think by 10 from its original stats. I think its original stats were supposed to be similar to Rune Scimitar's. So it's slightly less than Rune Scimitar. It's kind of around the Addy tier. And then it is a three uh, tick speed weapon, not three tick. That's not right because that would be super fast. But it is uh, the speed is three as opposed to four. So you can see right there with nothing on, it's sixteen, and you can kind of see the speed there. If we have a normal whip, why do I even have that in my inventory if I can't wield it? I keep, I, I, the amount of times I've clicked that and then got rejected. Um, so then you can see, um, you know, with with no gear on, no weapons, no nothing, it's an eight hit. You know, it's eight hits less than. A, than a whip so you have to f sort of figure out if that speed is worth it or not and then if you know you have the same setup or everything like max hit this is max hit with no potions or anything like that you know 27 and i could have sworn i hit i could hit a 28 what did i do that could hit 28 i don't know and then 35 so it's seven at the top end uh can, does this work with that i'm pretty sure it does right e there too so and then you can again if you haven't seen the speed speed so it's a it's an interesting item obviously we've seen it before so i might need some tweaks just to sort of balance it out it's not meant to be like the in-game rapier like the weapon you're going to use for the rest of revival 2 it's it's not supposed to be high end it's supposed to be better than a whip sort of the 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 the, the, the thing about this weapon is that it's meant for lower defense monsters monsters that aren't going to have high defense and you can sort of rip through them that's sort of the point like for example let's just say Hypothetically, let's say we added uh, those champion scrolls and you were trying to farm goblins for a champion scroll. This would be the kind of weapon you would want for that. I know that's a really dumb example, but I mean, like, I'm just trying to say, like, easier monsters. Like, let's say you wanted dragon bones and you were going to go kill some green dragons. This would be a great weapon for that. Uh, and then, obviously, there's things in the future that, that will make sense. But, you know, if you're, if you're expecting to take this to bandos and out DPS people with whip, you're probably not going to. Defense is definitely a lot more of a, contri a contributor than Revival 1. So, again, that, that might mean we have to make the weapon a little bit better. Or maybe maybe we'll lower the stats make it faster. We can sort of see. We can go from there. But as far as if it's good right now, I'll just... Uh, I don't know. What would be a good way to test? All right. So, I could probably do with a proper testing video. But let's just super combat back up. And uh, I probably should have got prayer. Let's get prayer. Okay, so we have prayer. We got. Let's just super combat again. I don't know. I didn't have to, but we'll just see if we'll kill. Let's 
So doing Slayer would probably make a lot of sense because you're going to deal with a lot of monsters like this that just don't have a whole lot of defense. So you're going to shred through them pretty good. It does have like 30 attacks, so it's not the most accurate thing. It definitely isn't. So like I said, it could probably do with the proper testing video. I'm going to leave it there for now. I just wanted to let some people take a look at it. People were definitely asking about it, so I figured I would show it off. Um, again, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We definitely need to do a proper video with it. The Titan's Hosta now acts as a Leaf's Blade weapon. So I've been trying to figure out how to make the Titan's Hosta sort of a... I've uh, been trying to figure out what to do with it, like what, what special ability to give it or anything like that. And I don't want it to be a, a best in slot item item you use, you know, in game. It's not meant to be that. It's meant to be sort of a pre whip to get you to whip. If it's more more for masters, just because if you're an, an initiate, you can probably get to whip faster than you could get this hosta. But I digress. Um, so I think making it the absolute best item for leaf bladed stuff makes sense. I think it sort of fits with. Uh, kind of the lore of elves being smart i don't really know much about leaf bladed logic like what like how it works or anything but you know fuck it uh it, 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 I, I made it work so as you can see we're now shredding through some curious and then there's always the potential for a new leaf bladed type monster a higher one these are what 70 so maybe we could do a tier 90 leaf bladed monster and this would obviously be your best weapon for it so that would be pretty cool um I just felt like that was a nice way to sort of not make it the best in slot item, but actually give it a you know an, an area where it is kind of the niche best in slot item. And look at that, Woo. elite clues have elite clue caskets have been improved. So there's still sort of the issue where you can just get one item, like you can get like an eight thousand coin casket. That's kind of the downside. Um, I was trying to work on getting a minimum, couldn't do that this update, unfortunately. But I did improve uh, the rates at some items. Uh, these are now the best ways to get uh, third age. They have the best chance at third age, and then they also have um, a couple new things and just a couple improved rates and stuff. So let's just open a couple. I don't know. Why. Uh, there is one of the new items. These God Dehud shields are now in game. And why is that? No, that should work. My guess is it's the wrong ID for one of the items. Fuck. But they will fix that. Uh, I I didn't test all of them. I just I equipped Guthics and then I stopped testing. And that was clearly a dumb thing to do because it don't work. Uh, I don't know if this was a good like spam through to show you. <laughs> What I mean, but uh, just trust me that they are a little bit better. There's also, I don't know if you like, for example, these dragon longsword type items. Those, those are added to the table. Um, like, the way it works is just the more items on it, the more chance of getting items. So that just kind of like, uh, it just, I, I, even though it, it does make some things harder to get per se, but again, we buffed rates to try to counteract that. So hopefully, all in all, they are better that's the goal right uh, wealthy tourists have also been uh, changed quite quite a bit they have a lot more items on their table and then the rates and stuff is a little bit nerfed uh, a little bit changed so i'll just kind of pick bucket a little bit to show you i don't know why there's that weird random delay that happens sometimes I, I really honestly do not know because there's nothing in the code that makes it that oh wow nice guild iron samurai king spear look at that i'll talk about that in a few minutes too because there's an update with that um, you can see it's just kind of similar gear type items. There are some like really new good items, like for example, wild pie, summer pie is on the table, um, and then the original stuff is still all there. Prayer pot and the uh, the uh, ran our seed, but they are obviously rare, and with the more things on the table, they're even more rare than before. And then the big one mil co uh, cash drop has been changed as well. Now it's just a hundred k. So. Uh, all in all, should be a lot more balanced. It, it was just kind of like, I'm, it just was like better than anything else in the game by a long shot. And, you know, obviously we do want donator stuff to be good, but we don't want it to be like, you just got to sit here all day and do this annoying content that good. So then, um, monkeys no longer drop and sold heads at 100% rate. The crystal equipment shop was moved. If you didn't know, there was a crystal equipment shop. And then the price of the items has been increased. It's now 7.5 mil. So if you want to get a crystal bow, just 7.5 mil, and there you go. The chance of getting God Dehyde from Hard Clues has been decreased. And then obviously you're supposed to get it from Elites, or at least that's the hope. 
elite clues and master clues now require one more step. This is kind of, uh, so, so they're, they're not difficult, right? That's sort of the problem is elites and masters don't have any challenging requirements. It's basically just the way before the, the, the previous server, the source, their logic was just the amount of steps. It, I think it used to have like, you could get a 15 step master. Obviously all of the steps are easy as hell because they're like literally easy tier steps, like go dig in Varrock or something like that. Um, but I, I don't really like that idea. I don't want you to just do 15 easy clue steps, basically. Um, so I, I reduced it, but I, I didn't realize how important it was to the way the code was. So I kind of upped it by just one. They're one more piece. So if you're actually doing those clues, now it'll be a little more annoying, but hopefully a little more rewarding, right? That's the point in logic. And it's under balance changes for a reason. It's, you know, maybe not the best thing, but it's got to be balanced. Remove some stuff from the Wilderness Point uh, Slayer Point shop. The skeletons from the Ancient Cavern have been removed. If you've ever tried to do a Water Fiend task or any of the tasks in there, they just constantly attack you and it's annoying as heck. Cash caskets have been renamed to cash caskets and they now give you less, ca less cash. So some people have, uh, you know, wondered about that. I just think that the, the, the amount of cash you get is uh, just a little bit too much. So we decided to tweak that. There is a future update. Um, uh, it says there's a future update with it. So some people have talked about, oh, I wish I didn't save my cash caskets. There might still be incentive to keep them if you did save them or not. It's really your call. But um, there's there's always plans in the future. So never be discouraged if you're one of those kind of people. Now I don't want to I don't want to just say oh, I'll hoard everything and save everything because everything could be buffed. But I just I just had a plan in mind and wasn't able to pull it off this update. Well, it's not so much that I wasn't able to pull it off. I just changed how I wanted to do it. Um, so I decided to wait till next update. So there will be something that's going to be kind of good for that. Third Age Equipment now has prayer bonus, similar to Revival Classic. It is the best prayer armor in game. So if you want the best prayer armor, Third Age. Cave Krakens now have a higher weight on the Slayer task table. I finally figured out how to control that and where it's, you know, where it's done. So uh, I was able to do that. The chance of receiving Ancient Shards and Dark Totem pieces has increased. Lizard Shaman should be more manageable to deal with. The main reason for this change wasn't so much just people killing lizard shamans, it was for raids. They're just the same NPC and they have the same code, so it, it, it just... Really the goal was to make it better to shamans, not not to make it better in, in the overworld, but it kind of is going to be better in the overworld just for that reason. Uh, the, the blistering cold re achievement requires 50, like I mentioned earlier. The chance of rare items from Winter Tot should be increased by about 20. It was, it was 1 in 64, now it's 1 in 40, so... Hopefully it should be better. Um, if it needs more tweaks, you know, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, and then the amounts of a few items in Winter Talk crates have been decreased. Uh, you, you should just get like a lot of Ranar seeds, a lot of Snapdragon seeds, a lot of Magic seeds, stuff like that. We've sort of reduced the amounts you get. Imp more Implings should spawn and they should be easier to catch uh, with Pero Pero, so that's nice. And then the last bit of changes, other changes, usually it's actual content increases, so we, will, we do have some nice fun stuff here. First things, let's go to the Donator Zone. So if you come over to this NPC, the Drunk Slayer Master, you can now talk to him and he will upgrade your Slayer Helmet for 50 mil coins. And then if you go to Otto, who is located at the Barbarian and Jelly Course, which we will do. If you didn't know, this thing is here and it teleports you to the last spot. So yeah, it's, it's a nice thing if you want to use it. Uh, where am I teleporting to? Scaling, Barbarian Jelly Course. And then we have Otto here. He can now make you a Zamoraki and Hasta. That's that's what I was talking about with the Zamoraki and Spear. So this is now here. And then with this, you can also make the Dragon Hunter Lance. Somebody actually got that thing now. Um, and they needed a Hasta to be able to do it. So that's cool. Congrats to them. And I'm glad that I was able to get this update. I basically just copied the code for the Drunk Slayer Master. I was already working on that. And then someone brought up the mention that it didn't work. So I figured we would just boom, boom, boom. Made sense. You can now get master clues from all of the other tiers of clues. You can get those god dehyde shields I mentioned. The uh, rune shop now sells a huge rune pack. It gives you 5,000 of each. So I guess I'll show you <laughs> in, in case you didn't believe me. Boom. You can now create devout boots. That's with the dragon, dragon tooth, drake's tooth, drake's tooth, drake's tooth and holy sandals. Getting Slayer tasks should be a lot easier, and I'll show you what I mean. So before, I believe it was like five or six clicks. Now it's one. Oh, I already have a task. Do I have points? Yeah, I have points. I did not think I'd have points. I'm glad I have points. Assignments. 
So then you just don't want a hard task, stay out of the wilderness, boom. Basically two clicks, you get your task super fast now, should be nice. And you can still get wilderness tasks if you so do choose. This is one that I sort of liked as a uh, as an Iron Man myself. This is this is one of those things that like if I didn't play the game myself, I'd probably never realize it. And maybe it's just me that does this all the time. Whenever I'm banking, I accidentally hit collect, and then this menu pops up. I, I made it so that that menu no longer pops up if you're an Iron Man, so it should be more convenient for for you guys. Blood Money Shop has two new items: the Magic Short Bow and then the Ancient Crystal that is needed to put the Obelisk in your house. And I did test that and it does work, so boom, there you go if you have the money. The Zamrock Mage can now be found in the Donator Zone if you plan to do any uh, rune crafting. There's a couple new teleports. Uh, for example, in the dungeon section, there is the Calphite Slayer Cave. So this is just a better task, a better place to go for your Calphite tasks. And you do have to be on task to kill these. If I try to kill one, it says no thank you. And then those Cash Cats, which I mentioned, I don't know if I said that they were stackable, but they are stackable now, so you don't have to you know, have them all over your inventory or anything like that. And then some items that didn't yell should now yell. So that's basically it for the update. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I have one little thing to show you real quick. Dark is working on Invention, and he is nearly done. We are about to have Invention on the server. Should be fun. It's going to introduce a lot of content, but I just want to show you this little teaser real quick. The components are going to be a little bit different, and it's going to be on an interface. So it should be a lot smoother. should be a lot... Uh, a lot better to handle out there. I guess there's no way I'm going to be able to make this visually friendly, huh? No. No. Okay, just, just, I'll play. But yeah, so instead of having to mess with the items in your inventory and stuff like that, you'll have this nice interface you'll be able to look through and look at all your components and everything. Um, but it's definitely going to be a lot smoother than Revival 1. We learned from our mistakes and we're definitely going to make those improvements. But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. This video went way too long. Thanks for watching. Guys. Bye.